I shot the sheriff and Moses hates me. Let's get into it. Oh my god. What is this? Ah! <laughs> yeah. 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 We have the perfect combination already. The duck for outside, the cat for indoors. I mean, come on. Come on. That's not that's not even that's not even a choice. Ooh, we have we have a whale boo. Whatever this is, boo. Koi carp and a rock. No 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 no. A cat and a fucking goose. Honk. I'm ready for whatever is yet to come. Famous last words. Spin. <gasps> Fidget spin! So, we saw ourselves with a gun in the last picture. Moses freaked out, ran away, and now we're having an existential crisis. Oh no, we're sleeping. We're peacefully sleeping for no reason. <laughs> oh, huh? Huh? What a wonderful day. Oh, how is it already morning? Damn, she must be having the worst back pain this if she says that like that. Makes as much sense as it did last night. Let's take a look at the evidence for the kajillion time. I've got to be missing something. So we are still in the reality where Moses was with us in the basement. He saw the picture of me with the gun just before Safi got murdered. And we're so chill about it. No matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no way I shot Safi. Yeah, no shit. I, I would be more worried about what Moses might be spreading. Misinformation, if you know what I mean. New crosstalk? I don't care. All right, let's see. Is that me? Did I go back in time and do that? It doesn't make any sense. And I would never hurt Safi. Not on purpose. That isn't me. It can't be. Maybe if I go object by object, an answer will jump out at me? The, the theory of an alternate universe existing where all of the bad traits of all the characters exist is still present because we had we have that teacher teacher the two teachers the one uh, with the um, with the uh, ego problem and the other one with the drug problem oh oh what is this the fuck <laughs> let's do let's do let's do those two things so the ego problem and the drug problem uh, allegedly so the evil one just threw the skull the other one dealed on campus uh, reggie I believe his name was... Uh, I don't know what his evil twin did. Our tw evil twin apparently killed Safi, so... Let's just... Let's just explain. Vin definitely knows more about the cow skull than he's letting on. Plus, there was that photo of him and Safi. Canoodling. Canoodling? But what does that even mean? Also, no... <laughs> it means they smashed pissers, Max. That's what canoodling means. Gwen, that was... So we had Gwen, we have Vin, uh, then we have Lucas. Oh, oh, all the names are coming back. All right, Gwen's email. Before Safi died, Gwen got her book cancelled, and I still don't know why. But... Evil twin. That doesn't mean she killed Safi. Evil Plus, reality. dead world Gwen seems genuinely torn up over her death. Yeah, the Gwen theory has some holes. Restraining Order Lucas said Safi once threatened to turn his son against him. That certainly implies some bad blood in their past. But that Lucas was scared of Safi, not out for revenge. None of this is conclusive enough. Uh, refill coffee? Sure. Oh, I'm so tired. Coffee. Coffee is friend. Get coffee now. 
Is this gonna be our uh, revelation? The coffee revelation? Yeah, maybe don't flaunt the picture. No matter how much I stare at you, he refused to make sense. Moses? Maybe clean the picture? It's literally evidence in this world. Police. Because Hello, Miss Caulfield. Oh, fuck. Can I of come in? Of course. No. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He cannot come in without probable cause or some shit like that. So that's that's already a no no, Mr. Anderson Mr. Mr. Smith. Hmm. The photo. <clears throat> exactly. He sees that. I have some questions for you. Mr. Anderson. Get out! <laughs> I mean, yes, technically, yes. I did not invite him in. I did not l permit him to set foot on my property. So, uh, what do you want to know? Of course. I... I can answer your questions right here. Well, this is a nice change of pace since yesterday. I appreciate the cooperation. Maybe don't flaunt around my house, you son of a bitch. Also, Max, I told you not to throw away your picture like crazy. Is she gonna eat it? Is she gonna eat the picture? There are just a few details I'm struggling to make sense of. Go ahead. Maybe you could also go... Acadia Bay. Where you went to high school, right? Okay. Yes. A beautiful town with a surprisingly violent story to tell. What violent story? Not unlike... Arcadia Bay and Safi are not connected. A small town with a curious number of murders. And now... How many Safi murders? Llewellyn Fayed... Murdered in a small town? What are the odds? What do you think, Miss Caulfield? Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you? I mean, didn't you hear about the guy, the professor that killed all those kids? Hmm. How in the fuck am I involved? Hmm. Are you dumb, Mr. Smith? That's messed up, dude. Go fuck yourself. Arcadia Bay has nothing to do with Safi. Ooh, there it is. Touched a nerve? I knew I'd find one if I kept poking around. You had so many chances. Detective, I'm not... So many chances to, to hide the photo, Max. Answering any more of his questions. What the fuck happened to the telescope, Maxine? Jesus, uh... I... I don't even know what you're talking about. Someone was in the <clears> office <throat> with me. I could hear them. <laughs> I saw Moses in the hallway, but I didn't see you. Mr. Uh... All right, enough. We're not getting any... Mr. Smith is losing his mind. This case has been abnormal. From the beginning, none of the evidence makes any sense. At least that's something we can agree on. But I know why now. Somehow, all this death leads to you. How? That's not true. Also, the photo is right there, dude. You could have done that ten, ten times. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the guy's creepy. <laughs> Definitely Mr. Smith vibes. Also, so many laws have been he broken there. He saw the photo. Stupid, Max. Stupid, stupid. What the hell do I do now? Don't let strangers into your house, maybe. I don't know. 
None of this makes any sense. <laughs> or hide the photo. This time, hide the goddamn photo. Just keep what laying it out. I... Why the? Fu you just see like fucking Mr. Smith in the in the window behind, like, oh yeah, I knew, I knew that the photo was there. <laughs> Fuck, am I in this picture? Oh God, Max. The old me would have just jumped back in time to the moment this photo was taken. Maybe we still have the powers. Can we do it? If we have the powers, I want to go back to Arcadia Bay and visit Chloe. Maybe. Maybe I still could. Do it. Fucking do it, Max. Jump through photos like we used to. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, damn it. Come on. I thought we could. Then I would have gone upstairs and looked at all of... Oh, oh. Good, I have a, have a hernia, Max. Come on. Oh! Okay. All right. I'm going to find some pictures of Chloe and see if we can go back there. I think I think this is the same power back in the day. Are we going to time jump again? We did it. We fucking did it. So that's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. Feels good. Final. There's a storm. There's a storm. Safi. Wait, is Safi this reality's Chloe? She needs to die because of the hmm. storm? It's here too. Wait, what? But there wasn't a storm the day Safi died. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Wait, is this... Chloe in a way? What? Who's Maya? Safi, wait. Who is Maya? What was she talking about? <laughs> Stop stalling, Max. Wait. What the fuck is going on? I don't even have theories. Does she also have powers? How do I stop this? Do you want... How do I stop this? Tell me how to stop this. What do I have to do? Pull the trigger. Maybe give some context. <sighs> what? the actual fuck just happened. I know we jumped through the photo like we used to back in the Life is Strange 1. But what kind of a I... third or fourth what? reality did we just go to? No, that wasn't <clears throat> enough time. Yeah, no, we're not gonna be able to jump again, obviously. We're, we're, we're juiced out. It might be a tumor. It's now the tumor. Yeah, we're uh, we're definitely getting ourselves an aneurysm. Fuck. If I could just fuck, I mean, yeah, that could <laughs> resolve a headache or two, maybe. <laughs> oh damn. Oh, sis. You were right. I don't know how. But you were. So we did kill Safi. Everything. You should have told him. The second that he started suspecting you. Moses, of all people, is a smart guy. He would have maybe understood or tried to understand anyways. Anyways. 
Instead, we just let him run away. Ha <laughs> ha! Goose! Wait, what? Now he's fine with it. Oh, okay, hold on. Max, uh, we did that. I owe, you, I owe you an explanation or as much of one as I have. Meet me at the Overlook. Really, Max? There? Ooh. I know it doesn't make sense. Do my best. Okay, so he's still willing to meet up with us, which is weird. Also, give me that goose hat. <laughs> best fucking outfit. Moses is waiting for me up there. Hopefully. I have a I have a superstition superstition premonition I have a suspicion that Moses will uh, have called the police or brought somebody with me my current joystick is vibrating so I don't know if it's the snow or it is my heart beating I I am guessing it's my heart beating all right so oh we have a switchy point wait how do we switch again oh Jesus I accidentally switched this is the world of the living. Let's have a look in the world of the living first. It's just gonna be a peaceful... Peaceful overlook. With nothing... Nothing to explore. I mean, it's gonna be... Ooh, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is actually pretty... Pretty, pretty. Okay, let's uh, switch back. And I think... There's gonna be some police tape here again. Oh no, the police tape is broken. What? Moses? He's not here. Yet. Let's give him a few minutes. Maybe wait on the bench. Snapshot. I know Safi would have something poetic to say about this. Exactly. If I Get myself a snapshot. Uh, I guess we'll just wait and see whoever shows up here. Uh. Life is strange. Music. It's weird, what weird if he lyrics. Come? I oh, he will him. come. I killed his best friend. He was. She was my best friend. What do you mean? What does that say about me? That I. Any version of me could do something like that? Alright, Moses, please show up so we can explain shit. He's probably not coming. Oh. It's not, it's not, oh, oh. Diamond knows where I am and who I'm meeting. <laughs> so don't do anything stupid. Wow. Skittish boy. I deserved that. You wanted to talk. So talk. Come. Tell me the truth. Sit by my side and I will. Tell me why you did it. He's wearing a wire. <laughs> He's so obviously wearing a wire. <laughs> He's gonna be like, okay, Max, uh, could you could you speak into this vest and tell me why you did it? No reason. Uh, I haven't done it yet. Wait, I haven't done it yet. That doesn't make sense. In this reality, she's already dead. I don't know why. You were right. I shot Sophie. But I can't tell you why, because I don't know the answer myself. No reason you could give would be good enough. Ma dude. Moses, wait. Jesus, that's not talking. I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look. These flowers. What are the odds they'd bloom in the middle of winter? Exactly in the shape of Sophie's body? Five minutes and then I leave. Okay. Jesus, dude. So, Chill. What if I told you there's this other timeline where Safi is alive and I can travel between this timeline and that one? Four minutes. I know. I know that it sounds insane. But I can show you. I, I'll, I'll hop from this timeline to the other. You'll see me poof, disappear. How yeah. does she know that? Just a magical fantasy world where you didn't kill Safi, right? It's not a fantasy world. It's connected to this one. If I try to, I can even see the other one from here. Wait. You can see across them? And here, too. So if you disappear or whatever, and I do something while you're gone... I can tell you what it was when I come back. 
And then you'll believe me? It'd be a start. Okay. She should have Okay, deal. Done that in the basement. Controlled environment. All right. Not There's a chance Moses will believe me. Random First, I gotta hop over to the other timeline. I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, 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 yeah. No witnesses. <laughs> right. Uh timeline, timeline, timeline. I shouldn't leave yet. I'm not leaving yet. I, I shouldn't leave yet. Okay, I guess I'll need to prove him from this point. Dang it. All right, Moses, you ready? You ready? Now to see what Moses is up to on the... Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. <laughs> Let me jump back over to make sure I didn't break him. I wonder how that looks from the other side. New messages from Moses. Ooh, what does Moses say in this reality? <laughs> Yo, Max, shot in the dark. Uh, but any chance you know what happened to my telescope? I don't know. Uh, I just transported it to the <laughs> to another reality. <laughs> the very heavy, very expensive telescope that I almost done assembling. I stepped away for a few minutes and it came back. It was no longer close to being assembled. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to troll people. Make him, make him just go crazy. Carla, maybe. <laughs> just blame it all on Carla. I wonder how everybody is just acting normal. Yeah, the the full telescope that I just almost assembled is back into boxes. How in the fuck did you do that? All right, Moses. Did you see me go kasploosh? Moses, you ready? I'm back, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, freaked up Moses. Max? <clears throat> Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm sorry if I upset you. Upset me? Are you kidding? You did something physics says should be impossible. Is impossible. I wonder how it Sweet. looks. Describe you what you me? saw, Moses. Yes. And no. Okay, you thank you. disappeared. Max, literally. I completely forgot to do anything. Okay. Let's try it again. Really? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Ready when you are. Why try it again? You you literally saw me disappear, dude. Okay. You you want more proof? Shit, douche. Okay. Let's try this again. What the fuck is he doing? Angel Psychic Storm? God damn it, Moses. Such a nerd. Even I am not such a nerd. Alright, skidoosh. How do you know when to stop to do anything? What did I do when you were away? You shit your pants. And then you said. Damn it! Something psychic. Yeah, there we go. Machine Angel Psychic Storm. Machine Angel Psychic Storm. Um. Yup. <laughs> That's what I did. Wow. I mean. Yeah. Near as I can tell, Sophie's death is where the timeline split. I think her. Absence is the only difference between the two. Mm, I wouldn't be too sure. I guess that could be a big enough event to lead to. You okay? So Safi's alive over there, huh? She is. And she's. Don't say happy. We both know that would be a lie. You're right. Rude. When you see her again, can you give her something for me? Yeah, sure. Don't fucking contaminate. Cat. How did you? Safi slipped it back to me that night. Found it in my equipment. You're gonna ta you contaminate the timelines. Tell, tell her to stay safe, Max. Make her swear to it. And who the fuck is Maya? Sure, I will. I will. Promise. 
I swear on this duck hat. I think she's going to need her help. Honk. What do you mean? When I was a teenager, I could... Rewind time. Just... Raise my hand and undo everything that had just been done. Okay. And if I had a photo, I could go back even farther. Wait. Could. Past tense? I wonder what happened to the powers, yeah. Time trial couldn't fix anything. It never worked, I had hoped. Yeah, bo both, both things are right. Yeah. Turns out when you try to change the past, you don't actually fix anything. Sure. But what if the best way to fix things isn't changing your past, but rather changing your present? Life lessons from Moses. How dare you bring logic to your <laughs> Exactly, Moses. Let me let me sulk on my Point emo. Is, I stopped using it and now it barely works. Okay, but there's a photo of you from that night. So you basically squandered your godlike powers, Max, by not using them? Holy shit, dude. I thought they just faded because of age or I don't know, something. So the saying is true. If you don't use it, you lose it. With a gun. You're saying that could be a future you? Even though you can't do that anymore? This morning I tried rewinding into that photo. It felt like trying to flex an atrophied muscle. Nothing made sense. But I was there. In the past. Safi mentioned Maya. And who the hell is Maya? The storm. <clears throat> Max? Look, there's a timeline where, for some reason, I shot Safi. This is a timeline. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a timeline where I didn't. I feel like, intentionally or not, these two worlds exist. Because of a decision I'm going to have to make. Holy shit. To save Chloe or not? Moses, I've been here before. When I could rewind, it broke time. People got hurt. I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here too. Um, oh, what the f fuck? Okay, first look at the crime scene is inconclusive. I'll need some further insight into Miss Llewellyn Thyatt's mental state. Not to call a shot prematurely, but if this isn't suicide, I'd put money on a Mr. Moses Murphy, friend of the deceased being the perp. Timelines merging? I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. He's talking like he hasn't already met you. Like he's... Alderman from yesterday. Wait, what? An Alderman that already happened? Max, this is really bad. Time isn't supposed to act this way. Yeah, no, Pierce, something crap, was moved from her person post-mortem. Maybe the camera her mother mentioned. We need to get the hell out of And spot it. <gasps> I fucking knew it. What? Returning to the scene of the crime? Amateur hour shit. How'd I let a couple of small time fuck ups like you get <clears throat> under my skin? Oh, is he gonna see himself? You're not making sense. You're not making any sense. Confuse him further. You want to talk about sense? Nothing about you makes sense. Telescopes 
don't put themselves together. Evidence doesn't disappear. I mean, if you know the right people. You're going to pay for what you've done. Maxine. I haven't done anything. And I'm here <coughs> to collect. Oh, oh, oh. Is he starting to see himself? Hello? What does he see? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he finally saw him. Uh oh. He's gonna. Is there going to be an implosion? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Smith. Another Mr. Smith? Epic fight scene incoming. Let's go. And implode. It's his gun that I use. Ah. Help me. Oh. Please. Help me. Max, watch out. Help or not help? Choice. Save yourself. Help, Anderman. Oh, fuck. Okay! Shit! I knew there was gonna be a choice, but fuck! Okay, wait. Uh, shit. Okay, if we have him on our side, he, he'll, he already saw fucked up shit. So, I mean, he's already experiencing fucked up shit. So, we definitely need him on their side. But we do not know him. Fuck! But I don't... Ah... Uh, if it were me, I would help him, I think. I'm not I'm not the person that... Even, even though he's Agent Smith, I'm gonna help him. Because saving yourself is such a douchey move, dude. Alright. Help Anderman. Let's do this. Come on! Come on! Max, you have to let go! Yeah. The, it was a choice, but it was not really a choice. Oh! <laughs> Did he just become a switching reality point? Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought all of the points were just like people smushed together. I he, he just could have saved him, Moses. No, we could not. I could have saved him. We tried. No, you couldn't have. Jesus Christ. Listen to me, Max. This place <laughs> ate a man. <laughs> nim, 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 nim. Delicious Mr. Smith. He's going to come back more powerful, you know that. Moses, your hair. Did he just age? You, there's always a cost. It started with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you. <laughs> I love how we just casual, very casual about it. Yo, the the agent that just came to kill us or arrest us just got <laughs> imploded into himself. Timeline wise. Now we're like, yeah, this is. By by the way, about Safi. Um, so what are we gonna grab for dinner tonight? <laughs> Well, she died. And maybe we can prevent all of this. That's what I've been trying to do. The whole day I've been talking to people and spying on them and taking their stuff. <laughs> hey. Such a life crisis. Is Maya, right? Yeah, who the fuck is Maya? Rewound? Right. What do you think Maya has to do Wait, with Maya. all this? Maya. Maya. No Maya. Maya was before. Is Maya the bartender? For my time. No, okay. Gwen Hunter might know more than me. She was Safi's mentor during all that mess. Gwen. Gotta go talk to Gwen. Okay, Gwen. Give me the Maya answers. And also the gun. The gun is just there. This is definitely the gun that we use to kill or to, to shoot Safi. I'm shaking. 
Alderman was, and then he just wasn't. And Moses and I were standing so close. But I'm here now. I'm here. I'm all right. Are you sure about that, Max? Are you all right? <coughs> I don't think you're all... You're, you're all... No, you're not all right. Talk to okay. Gwen. Okay, talk to... Okay, Moses. Hey, Max. I know it's been an uh, eventful morning. Yeah, no shit. And I'm still parsing it all, but had a quick question. Are you able to get my text when you're in the other timeline? Trying to grasp the extent of what you can do from a phys physics point of view. Okay. Uh, yes, obviously. No, I get messages from the other side. But, yeah. Inroads into what happened earlier. So he's gonna study it? Nice. Okay, good. Okay, Yasmin, what the fuck do you want? Jesus Christ. Hello, Maxine. I wanted to say I appreciate the friendship you and Moses have with Sophia. Okay. Even though she ended her life in a manner that she did, you both made... Uh, excuse me, why are you thinking that she killed yourself, herself? What the, I clearly said she did not try to kill herself. Why? Hmm... Yasmin, Gwen, you're weird. See what she knows about Maya. And while I'm at it, I'd like to know why she killed Sophie's book deal. Okay, let's uh, do a quick sweep of things. Audrey? I'm worried Hello? about Kim. So am I. None of my attempts to reach out have yielded results. She didn't want to go <laughs> Arrogant out. artist and a depressed. competitive artist? Nice. Well, she was this? She was we haven't been here. Oh, we haven't been here. Was this? This must be the professor Sophie TA'd for. She mentioned he liked to tear this one kid down, but failing him is harsh. Hell yeah. Change the grade. Shit. I need a password to change the grades. Okay. We'll never find it in this mess. Yes, we can. We are. Uh, Time Lord switching. Got it. Let's send powers. So she knows is there. <laughs> this is my corner now. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Stop fucking around, Max. We need to. We need to solve the no great mystery. Let's. Uh, let's. Uh, go get the password. Yeah. Amanda. Chris. New crosstalk. Ooh, who's this fellow? Oh, it's fucking arrogant, Lucas. Ugh. Wait, Donner and Blitzen means thunder and lightning. <laughs> Who knew Santa's reindeer were so metal? Right, give me the password. And then she didn't. Martin has an A here. I knew it. Safi would never fail this kid. All right, where's the where's the password? In this reality, somewhere. There must be a password. There must be a clue. Give me something. Okay, nothing. Really? Somebody, somebody knows something. Ah, <laughs> yeah, that's how you break the table. Ooh, Loretta. Hey, Loretta. The fuck you doing? Oh, hi, Miss Caulfield. How are you? How's Reggie doing? Yeah. Have you talked to Reggie since yesterday? Reggie. Reggie Kagan, business major Reggie. What? Crap! Wrong, Loretta, Max. Ah. You know what? Oh. Ignore me. I am lost in space. <laughs> End of the semester, right? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Super suspicious. Anyway, catch you later, Loretta. Whoops. Oh. Damn it. Did we just expose ourselves? <laughs> this action has consequences. Oh, fuck. Enjoy the A, my dude. I think you've earned it. So, okay, we just randomly oh. I didn't I didn't find the password. I don't know. I just it was unlocked. Fine. Fine. Enjoy the A. All right, let's go talk to Gwen. Hello, Gwen. Is that Sophie's Book? She's gonna steal the book. Hey, Gwen. Max. 
No conversations for you to conveniently overhear this time. Sorry to disappoint. Actually, Damn. I need to Sassy talk again. to you about Sophie. No reason to beat around the bush. I know you got Sophie's book deal cancelled. Shit. What I don't understand is why. You really have a knack for learning shit you're not supposed to know, you know that? Thank you. <laughs> so I've been told. <laughs> well then. Spill the beans, Gwen. Bean me. No use fighting the inevitable. What do you want to know? Everything? Why did you do this? How did you con- Why? That book meant the world to Safi. You had to know that losing it would break her heart. Of course I did. I busted my ass to help Safi get that deal in the first place. Introduced her to my agent, my publisher, lobbied for her. I don't regret it. That book was good. Did she have a falling out with Safi? This keeps getting weirder yeah. and weirder. You got the deal, then killed it? How did you convince the publisher? Let me get this straight. You helped Safi get the deal, and then you killed it? If it had to be done, it made sense for me to do it. You know, I brought you into this world, etc. Stop beating around the bush. So what did you tell the publisher that made them nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. Which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people. Safi included. What was the book about, dude? Yeah. Safi's book was incendiary? How? What was it about? You really don't have an off switch, do you? No, I need information, dude. You're just beating around the bush. The bush has been destroyed by this Sophie point. Let me tell you about Maya Okada. <gasps> Gwen's bringing up Maya? Time to pay attention. <laughs> Never mentioned her. Tell me Maya everything. Maya Okada? Sophie never mentioned the name. Hmm. She always did keep her cards close to her chest, didn't she? The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. You never saw one without the other. And that... <laughs> the Chloe to your max. <laughs> You're like, what? He used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. Okay. But then... Maya took her own life. Oh, yeah, right. And that's what Safi wrote about in her book? I remember. Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Ultimately, I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. It's not your decision. No. Yeah. I don't know if it was the right one, but it's the one I made. Maybe uh, consult with the writer? Sounds like Yasmin can tell me more about Maya. I'll have to be tactful. Hey, Yasmin, do you know anything about Maya? <laughs> Very tactful. One last thing. Is that Safi's manuscript? Can I read it? Part of it, why? Can I read it? <laughs> no. That's where I draw the line. Damn. I don't trust you not to dig up old graves. I like digging. Jesus. We've never played Minecraft, Gwen. Jeez. I've spilled too much already. Let's call this conversation over. Huh? Okay, so we're gonna... <laughs> I love how Max thinks she's, like, not super obvious, but she's super obvious. Like, you saw her, like, <clears throat> gobbling her way to look to see where she put the manuscript. All right, let's Shit. switch realities. Now I'm even more convinced there's something <coughs> important in that manuscript. And read the goddamn manuscript. All right, thanks for the info, Gwen. Now, How do I get my hands on a copy? Uh, up. Oh. Come on, Max. 
But this time you should have already kind of figured out you have powers. <laughs> Alright, let's check it. Gotcha. Safi, tell me your depression. Reading Safi's manuscript after all this feels like... I don't know. Being hit by a tidal wave. It's more of a poem instead of a book. Alright, damn. It's uh, intense. Whatever happened with Maya was explosive. Let's see what Yasmin has to say about her. Alright, Yasmin. Spill all the Maya beans. Would you mind closing it behind you, Max? <laughs> Alright. Let's go to Yasmin. Spill the beans, Yasmin. Hello? Yasmin liked to get coffee here in the afternoon. Ah. Before Jesus. Coffee died. Okay. It's kind of convenient. Yasmin. In the living world, then? Where is you? Ah. I wonder if nobody, like, sees me appearing and disappearing when I do it in plain sight. It's like not even hidden places. It's just like in in the open area and I go a swipe hand and just disappear and <laughs> appear. Nobody's like catching on to that. That's kind of weird, no? Yo, Yasmin. Maya stuff. Hello? Sorry, Yasmin, but I'll need to interrupt your downtime with some questions. Spill it. Hi, Yasmin. Maxine. How are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. Like I said, I get those all the time. It's been only Still, two days? Jesus. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. A tumor. It's a, a tumor. A can mean a heart attack. What? I'm gonna try not to think about no, that. No, nosebleed, my dear. <laughs> I was hoping we could talk. Come. Max sit. is just <laughs> turning into Terminator. Has Safi lost her book deal? Yeah, let's, do, let's start with that. Did Safi tell you her book deal was cancelled? What? Oh. No. How... Maya. How uh, was she when she found out? Not oh. sure, but I bet she was devastated. Oh, Safia. I'll be sure to talk to her about this. Let's talk about Maya. Yeah, let's talk about Maya. I wanted to ask you about something. Straight to the point. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four Okada. years ago. A horrible Is that tragedy. like a Japanese last name? I think... I think Safi's book was cancelled because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Huh? Safia didn't even know Maya. Huh? Did Yasmin just lie to me? Yeah. Do I call her out? She'll be pissed, but I can cut straight to the point. Mm. Or should I go along with it and see what narrative she's trying to spin? She's very... It's gonna be, yeah, life-altering choice. But she's very political about it, and Yasmin is not a straightforward person, so we're not gonna just go like, You're lying! And then she'll be pissed. So we need to let her do her thing. Uh, of course. <clears throat> I don't know why I thought they knew each other. It's just... What? Spice her a little bit. There's this rumor that something happened with Maya before she died. I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but... Ms. Okada appears to have caused herself a great deal of pain. So, she had a bad reputation. No wonder you didn't want her and Safi associated with each other. Exactly. Oh, shit. Strange. I really thought Vin's statement closed the matter. Oh. Shady cow skull throwing Vin is involved? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Enough ancient history. I have a favor to ask. Safia's been distant lately. I wonder Did why. Keep an eye on her for me. Damn. Why me? Are you sure that I'm the best person to... Yes. Because she trusts you. And I trust you. So you're I... asking me to betray my best friend? Yeah. Sure. I mean, I'll I'll, I'll look out for her, but I Thank will not you, convey Maxine. the information to you, Yasmin. Oh, you time. lying son of a bitch. Let's do lunch again. Somewhere with more atmosphere than the other place. What? What? Lunch again? There was no food involved. That was odd. Yeah. What did no she shit. mean by Vin's statement? Yo, Vin. Maybe I'd better talk to Vin myself. We've got a lot of people spilling the beans lately. Uh, okay, so this is living Moses. So this is not the freak, freaked out Moses. Uh, hey Moses, sorry to bug you, but had a question about Vin Lang and Maya Okada. Sure, what's up? It's the only thing that we know, I guess. Do you know if Vin put out a statement about Maya's death? Maya was an incredibly talented writer, but she also had mental health problems. Wow, Vin. Wow. Also, come on. Come on, let me let me let me grab myself real quick. Why? Why do we keep doing this? Come on, is it this is this is if you're trying to mimic real life, double space seldomly happens in messages. Please, can we stop? Can we stop this? Can we stop the, the unnecessary double spaces? The same the same I had with fucking Sekiro. We tried to get her help she needed, but that didn't work. If we'd known it was as bad as it was, we would have done more. It does help, Moses. Thank you. Thank you for helping me in both realities. He's probably in the admin building. All right, Vin. Oh, hey, my date, sports? Amanda. You're just gonna walk past me without saying hello? I didn't see you there, dude. Really, sport? <laughs> sport? Yeah. I'm trying out middle-aged white dad slang nowadays. Is it working? <laughs> Try using champ. Sure. What are you doing on campus? Just going on a coffee run. But your coffee's better at the turtle. This one tastes like ass. <gasps> Is Amanda... Enough about me. What are you doing here? I work here. Suspicious, no, no. I mean... Amanda. I just saw you talking to President Fayad. What were you talking about? Coffee. She did not spill the her beans. She's here with some kind of intent. She did not spill the beans. I'm not gonna spill mine as well. Just work stuff. Oh, just, uh, work stuff? Why? Just curious. I didn't realize you two hung out. Your curiosity seems suspicious, out. Amanda. I don't trust boss, anybody here. Safi's mom. We're bound to run into each other, you know. Is this about Safi? Uh, Damn, Amanda. Um, yeah, we talked about Safi. You know, you can talk to me about anything, right? You're being very suspicious, Amanda. We barely yeah, hang out. Of course. Maybe I'll tell you when I'm ready. Sure thing. Well, I'll. Leave you to it then. See you around. Are you stalking me? See you, Amanda. Are you stalking me for somebody else? Or are you stalking me because you have a big ass He's fat probably crush on me? Building. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Amanda? Okay, let's go talk to Vin. But that I will leave for another episode. See you in the next one.